Hi, I've been talking about this subject with working class activists and anarchists quite a bit recently. In particular, those middle classes we come into direct contact with. Authority figures who have state sanctioned power to affect many aspects of our existence. Those people on the other side of the desk. But more especially, the middle classes who dominate the entire political spectrum, pushing their own interests and without thinking about challenging their entrenched privileges. It's incredible that here in the UK, in the second decade of the 21st century, class barriers are almost as solid as 100 years ago. We have, in fact, a form of self-regulated social apartheid. Of course, things aren't totally rigid, allowing for a multitude of interlocking and fluid grey areas, and I'm assuming that unless we are totally confused, we're only all too aware of which side of the class divide we belong and who we identify with in it. So I'd like to talk all too briefly about how we experience a yawning class divide in our political scene. Experiences, encounters that are mind-numbingly repetitive and never-ending, that begin the moment we of the working class open our mouths, assumptions that we that are made consciously and unconsciously that we are somehow intellectually and morally inferior, although theoretically, of course, we are the sort of the earth. That we are prone to violence, irrationality, racism, sexism, homophobia, and xenophobia. That we are incapable of a true appreciation of the arts or thinking above a certain level. They think we are less enlightened, reactionary, both socially and politically. From our working class perspective, we tend to regard these attitudes as a blatant form of middle class projection, reflecting their own deep anxieties, fears and identity problems. This social class, apartheid, is reflected in our true friendships and relationships. From recent conversations, I've discovered that many working class people in our movement, or scene, have never had a partner from the middle class. Due to the peculiar self-reinforcing British class system, this state of affairs seems to be almost natural. But let me say, many of us in the working class have no desire to remain exclusive. We are a mixture of different nationalities, cultures and subcultures. Where, for example, do most of the mixed race kids come from? It certainly ain't from the uh, abnormally large middle classes. I'd say... Where the two classes do meet on a more equal, less hung up basis is the social and political scene where the working and middle class lumpen elements converge. Sadly, this will become increasingly difficult due to the rapid evaporation of free spaces or any spaces or venues, particularly here in London. This is usually a direct result of gentrification. So it seems to be an almost insurmountable class problem, but we don't see it as our problem. Although, of course, we are the ones on the receiving end of the discrimination, cold shouldering, snobbery, elitism and superior, superiority complexes. Under present circumstances, the best we can hope for is to be patronised. It's up to the middle class politicos themselves to challenge their own privileges and ingrained attitudes. Of course, they can do it on an individual level, but they've never pulled that one off collectively. The British middle class are virtually unique in the world, as not one section of them has ever developed a republican, let alone revolutionary, movement or perspective. Bitterly ironic as that's the only way they could begin to shed their prejudices against us. Some sections of the middle class are becoming semi proletarianized with loss of status in short term with, uh, with loss of status and going into short term contracts. Those for example in the education and health service. They are under attack, like all of us, by the forces of neoliberal capitalism and globalization. Yet the class barriers remain firmly entrenched. Sometimes it seems these glaring class inequalities and attitudes will never disappear, 
They could, in one form or another, go on forever until we evolve into a Hindu-like caste system. Many of us feel we're more than halfway there already. In the new fu future, there is a strong possibility of political and social collapse. This could take out a vast swathe of the middle class, which to us, already under vicious government attack, wouldn't be a great tragedy. They'd be welcome to join us and help create something a lot better and to get rid of the system, just as long as they don't cushion their fall by crashing down and landing on us. Bye.